Welcome to The Checkout. We catch up with previous Add to Cart guests and ask them five quick questions to get to know them better and leave you with a little extra inspiration to get you through your Friday. Today's Checkout features Davey Fogarty, founder of The Udi, the original oversized wearable blanket that turned Davey's last $500 into a $250 million business, and it now sits inside the Davy Group alongside Pupnaps, Zoe Tech, Australian Furniture Warehouse, and more. Davey, thank you so much for joining us on The Checkout. We've heard all about the Udi and you sharing all your incredible e-commerce tips in the main episode. I've got five quick questions to get to know you a little bit more. Number one, what's the weirdest thing that you've ever bought online? The other day I bought those inflatable T-Rex costumes and got drunk with one of my friends and we were jumping around in them. That was pretty weird. That's awesome. In public? No, I had my house. <laughs> <laughs> Although you wouldn't, have, you wouldn't have known if I was in public because their face is covered, so I could have done it. That's amazing. Do you do custom designs at the Udi? We're looking into it at the moment, which is a bit challenging. I was about to say, and you get some weird requests through that. Yeah, we got a Nicolas Cage request. <laughs> Some really like Nicholas Gage. That's cool. You could do the face off thing where it's a different design on the outside and then the, you flip it on the inside. And, <laughs> Love it. Oh, the options are endless. All right. Who is your favorite retailer? So, favorites, a hard word because they're the ones that rip us off the most and cause us the most grief. But in terms of like business quality, yep. In terms of business quality, it would have to be just execution wise. I'll give you two Kmart yep. and Cottenham. Kmart, in terms of predicting trends and stuff like that, they are just really on the ball and their ability to execute. Cotton On, they did something like $200 million profit as a private company, like globally diversified, also really good at predicting trends. So both of them are some pretty pretty nice businesses to have a look at. Phenomenal. And Cotton On does such an amazing job in retail in general, but I feel goes under the radar a bit. Mm-hmm. 100%. 100%. Number three, which e-commerce practice do you wish was history? Dropshipping. I think people people should be building quality brands, not dropping the quality of of product just nonstop and doing six months shipping time. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So look, it's good to get started in the e-commerce industry, learn your first business, learn how to arbitrage ads, but then move on to building a brand that actually creates value into the world. Yeah, I feel the heat is coming off drop shipping at the moment. People are kind of getting burnt. Yeah, I think I don't know. I think I think it's always going to be there. It's always going to be there, unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Number four. Can you recommend a book or a podcast that our listeners should immediately get into? Yeah, I'll give a couple. Good to Great by Jim Collins. Built to Last by Jim Collins. Just anything by Jim Collins. But I think My First Million is also a really good podcast. Anyone that wants to launch new businesses, All In Podcast is also great. Perfect. Great recommendations. Thank you. And finish this sentence. The future of retail is? It is diversified. Fantastic. I thought you were going to say living in Noosa. <laughs> living in Noosa. Yeah, done. Future of retail is is not, not me. <laughs> <laughs> no, diversified. I love it. And that's definitely what you're doing at the Davy Group. Thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, man. To hear more from Davey, jump back into episode 271, where Davey shares how he's made sure that the Udi goes beyond just being a fad and into a brand that's stuck around for the long term. He also goes into detail on the biggest threats to your own e-commerce business and also shares why he's a little bit disappointed in Lady Gaga. Nothing to do with A Star Is Born, I promise. That movie is absolute gold. Thanks for listening. And until next time, keep adding to cart.